Uh, guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, guys, welcome. <laughs> Uh, welcome guys welcome 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 i'm gonna start sharing my screen soon so let's just wait for some few minutes so that others can come and join us we're going to start soon 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 guys waiting for some more people to come and join our session so in the meantime just hang on while we still wait for them just a few seconds in the meantime i'll also be sharing my screen this side so i really appreciate your presence guys it shows that you are very serious about learning so peace guys peace 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 uh, okay <sighs> <clears throat> yeah so guys i think you are able to see my screen all of you decide so if you are unable to see my screen you can comment there and if you can't hear me still yet, you can comment. If you hear me still yet, you can comment so that I can be able to start. So I'll be waiting for your responses, guys. If you are able to see my screen, comment. If you don't see my screen, comment. Or if you can't be able to hear me. Okay, it seems like everything is sorted, guys. Uh, don't 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 be that surprised why i'm asking such questions is because I'm, I'm 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 using a new laptop i lost the one that i was using recently so it gave me hard times yesterday because i wanted to hold this session yesterday midnight and then it denied it was still updating some softwares so okay guys as i recently told you the topic of our today's session it's about daily pip cycle so if you don't know, you're going to know because we are still here. We, we are all here to learn. We, we, we're going to be learning a new content for those who don't know. Those who know, it's going to be a revision. So guys, if you don't know, it's fine. We are all here to learn. It's, it's, it's not a hard thing. So let's stay tuned and make sure that we pay attention, guys. So uh, our session today, it's, 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 it's SMC still yet, bank trading, institutional trading, SMC. So the part that I'll be focusing on is the daily PIP cycle. What do I mean about the daily PIP cycle? I mean, like, it's something on how the price moves in a daily basis. What are the stages of the daily price exchange? That's what I, I'm going to be sharing. 
So liquid cycle, a, a price cycle, I do. We are having, we are having, I can say three stages, which we call AMD. We are having three stages, which we call AMD. Let me type here so that you can be able to see it. Uh, okay. AMD, those are our daily price action or daily price movement. <clears throat> okay. We are having three, which we call them AMD. Uh, so please make sure that you understand this because this is the start of SMC. So guys, AMD, don't be surprised. You'll know more and you'll understand this one today. AMD. So when I talk about AMD, I'm simply referring to something that it's like this. Inside AMD, A stands for, you know this, but then you might not understand how they work. And then A is for accumulation. Uh, as I'm saying that it's AMD. One is for accumulation. Uh. So the daily price movement or price cycle, it, it starts with accumulation. And then the second one, it's M, which stands for? Two. Manipulation. All right, guys, please meet your mics, guys. This is what I was talking about. And then the third one, we having this one. That D, the last D there is standing for distribution. <clears throat> so this is the daily price movement or price cycle that we're gonna be talking about today. So this is SMC or institutional a, a, a trading or content. So guys, if you you must understand all these three concepts that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm introducing to you guys, so the price in a, in a daily price action or price movement, we have these three phases or stages. The first one is accumulation, and then the second one is a, a, a manipulation, and then the third one is it's it's it's, it's distribution. So accumulation, you can you can you can also say maybe you can reconsider it as maybe consolidation, still the same thing, because the same contents there. So these are the three stages that we're gonna be talking about: the daily price cycle, accumulation, manipulation, distribution. So please uh, allow me to introduce what we talk about trading sessions. Remember, we have three tradable trading sessions, which is the Asian one, then the second one is London, then the third one is New York session. We're not going to be talking about the Tokyo sessions or something like that. We're going to be only focusing on these three uh, 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 trading sessions. The first one is Asian session, and the second one is a, a London session, the third one is the, the, the New York session. So now, on these three, we're going to remove the third one of New York session and focus on these two, the Asian and the and London session. Because if you don't understand how price moves in these sessions, this is where you get lost. Né? So let's pay attention, guys. Let's focus. Uh, this is a chart of Euro USD. Don't forget that we're going to be focusing on what? Accumulation, accumulation distribution. Né? So let me go, okay, let's just start by the today's price movement. Uh, five minutes time free, this is a period separator that you see here. And then meaning with here, the price, this is the daily new price movement. So all these candlesticks they are coming after from this period separators are from today. So <clears throat> guys, if you can be able to see this, 
there is a condition where let me just zoom in a little bit there is a condition where the market just consolidates it moves something in, in, in such condition like this before the day starts, the price must consolidate, or even if it might not consolidate, but it must be illiquid. Illiquid, I'm talking about something that it doesn't have much power. So when we talk about Forex, when you see something, it's illiquid, it means that there is a lack of market participants, or we are having less people who are trading the market during that time. So if you can check everywhere before price, uh, the, the, the daily price starts start consolidating, you can see there. If we go forward back again, you see the price start by consolidation, by consolidating, you can see by your own eyes what I'm trying to show you. If you check still yet every day before the price start by consolidating, you see what I'm talking about. So this is the first step that you have to know, which, okay, before the day starts, it starts by consolidating. So now we're gonna be linking this a, a three phases of 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 of, of the daily uh, the, the cycle as AMD accumulation manipulation and distribution. And if I zoom in, you have to be able to identify your uh, Warren, uh, you have to be able to identify your your your, your trading sessions. So let's start by uh, two o'clock there. New York. A, a, a agent session automatically it starts by nine o'clock the previous day. If you can check from nine o'clock the previous day, uh, here it's nine o'clock, the price starts consolidating or resting. So Tina will take like, let's just take from 11, the previous day, 11, this is the previous day, uh, till when, till, 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 till here. Till eight o'clock. Till eight o'clock. Or is it? Till eight o'clock. I want to show you something. <coughs> and then there is in between, there is somewhere that, oh, I'm having something like a three. A three midnight, somewhere there. Oh yeah, three midnight. So <clears throat> if you are able to see this, uh, this is our, uh, let me do this. Let's make it clear and simple. From 11 o'clock yesterday, we having something like this. Let me just uh, erase this lines because they will confuse a lot of you. Let me just highlight the agent session. Let's take from 11 o'clock yesterday till 3 o'clock midnight. I want to show you something there. This Remember this, it's a five minutes time frame, guys. If you check there, there is a, a level where the market just managed to consolidate. Do you see this level? This is a level where the price consolidates. Do you, do you understand that? Let, 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 let this concept, this is the price of consolidation, we call this zone a Asian range. Do you understand that Asian range because it's Asian session. So the price is consolidating inside this range. Then this is our Asian range. I think you are able to see that. Ne? Then from there, this is a phase where the market just manages to, to consolidate. What do we call it? Remember I told you, now we are linking our now we are linking our faces there. Yeah, the faces. Remember the three stages. We have accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. And then here it is. It's not, it's not as a, 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 a magic. Here it is. This level of consolidation, I told you consolidation is still the same as accumulation. Don't be fooled, uh, uh, fooled by English. So this is gonna be our accumulation phase. This is gonna be our accumulation phase where the price or the market manages to consolidate and generate more liquidity. When we talk about accumulation or manipulation, uh, you know, accumulation or consolidation, it means that the market is accumulating 
more liquidity or it's generating more liquidity. That's what we talk about money accumulation. So and then if you can check the price breaks up, it breaks to the upside down and uh, to the upside, I mean, to the upside, if you can check from there, it just it started from there, that level, it, it started going down. Do you see that? Do you see the price broke upside and then from there it went down. So the moment the price do something like this, we call that take a manipulation. By the time it, it, it broke upside down, it's, it's just kicking out a, a retail traders. So retail traders will be chasing the market and keep buying that side. They think the market will, 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 will buy or it broke there. The Asian, Asian range. So they think the market will continue going up, which is wrong. This is just a manipulation phase. Manipulation phase, I'm talking about this uh, bullish move here. If you can check consolidation, consolidation, then it kicks out retail traders, and then it went down. So if you can check our AMD is something like this. Uh, you, 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 you take notes of this. So our AMD, it's something like this. The price, it will accumulate there. Uh, let me start it so you can take a screenshot of this the price will accumulate and then this is gonna be inside a range so once it breaks this range it, it will break up and then this is a moment of where this is our manipulation and then this is our accumulation and in the moment it will kick out small traders there and it starts going where going down so the moment it goes down that move is called what the distribution is distributing simple like that so it's a vice versa you can take a screenshot of this you will see what i'm talking about or sometimes it will do this it will accumulate and then it breaks down and then it, it starts going where up so this is gonna be the level of accumulation it accumulates and then this one it's gonna be what our manipulation and then the moment it goes up is gonna be our distribution simple like that so let, let's continue here so here we had the accumulation then it broke up side and then by the time it pushes up it was kicking many retail traders here they thought it's gonna be buying then from there what happened the market now is starting to go where well, down so the moment it goes down guys uh, that's what we call distribution. That's what we call distribution. So, 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 so this is what I wanted to show you first that you have to understand. So, <clears throat> the moment the market, you see, then this is the distribution. So when it goes down, there, it will come back after some time. When it's in that distribution inside, you can ex you can be able to extend that Asian range, and it will come up again and create an, or give you a retest on that uh, uh, Asian range, so you can be able to sell in case you missed this sell. So now here, I just wanted to show you how prices move. It starts accumulating and then it break up. The moment it breaks up, you you are looking for sell entries or for sell for sell reversals. There. Then from there, it will come down, it breaks, it clears the, all the previous lows from the Asian session, and then it comes back, it retests there in the Asian session, so you can be able to sell in case you missed a sell here. And then it comes down, and then it came up again, so now it's going to go down. So now if you can check, this is moving in a, in a market structure. So you can be able to link this a, 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 a price movement together with the market structure. The moment it created this, it was what? It was a BOS. You see? It was a BOS. Or, okay, let me, okay, guys, let me not confuse you. Let me not confuse you. Let's do this. I, I've done a differentiation. I've uploaded it on YouTube. So, to understand how how to identify BOS and also a chart or a change of character, I'll just share the link of that session because if I, I make the sessions, a lot of you can be confused. So today, just make sure that you understand. So the moment in the market 
uh, it's in accumulation before the day starts and then it accumulates and then it breaks up you look for cell entries and then for cell reversal so these cell reversals here they can they can be in the form of two ways <laughs> these cell reversals here they can be in the form of two ways they can be in the form of this <clears throat> Uh, let me show you. You see now it's it's still even going down there. So <clears throat> there is one. Uh, this it can be sort of in a zone. <clears throat> Reversals can be in sort of a zone. This is the first. This is the first. This is the first thing that you have to take. The reversal signal. You can get it if the market manages to form a zone. You know what's a zone? This is a zone. A zone is something like this. When it starts consolidating, a zone is something like this. If it starts co consolidating in the zone there, then you must be able to check or to be looking for a reversal or that it's a reversal signal that the market will reverse. Or secondly. The market might do this. And then you can be looking for other blocks. It might be running to activate an other block. So now I'm giving you the, 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 the secret how to see if the reversal is getting to be started. It might be in the format on the other block or it might be in the form of a zoom. So here, if I check this one, it can be regarded as an order block. So this was the first, this was the first, if you can check this one was the first uh, uh, look out and then the market came back again and activated an order block. So we can switch to a lower time frame. So <clears throat> this is the two things, or you can add this one, if it doesn't activate an order block or break of structure in a lower time frame. So if you can check if the market is running to activate an order block, you can check sometimes that order block can be in sort of something like this. Do you see that? That it might be coming to retest or activate that order block. So it might be something like this, there, and then it activate, then it goes down. You understand? So that's the first look out on how to, 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 to catch that cell or the reversal, or you look for reversals, sort of as a double top. Sometimes it can be like this, it can do this. The market can come from there and then it goes down and then it comes back again. And then that's how you can get your reversal. And or sometimes it can give you a, a, a triple tops for those who know them as triple tops. So these are such of the are some of the results that we can be able to check out. <clears throat> so this is a bullish. Uh, this is a a, 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 a a sell opportunity. So if it breaks up, you look for selling opportunity. So let's check for another another another. <clears throat> Another cell a, a, a opposite opposite a, a thing. I mean opposite trade. Okay, remember it starts consolidating. Sometimes those rejects uh, th that breakdown it might not be that long. So another one here it broke up, and then you see after breaking up here is this that it broke up. Then from there it sold. Do you understand? So that's how you get it. And then let's check for another one. I want to check for the for the for the for the for the opposite one. Here you check the price consolidated there. And then after what happened, it broke down and went away, went up. So here it's everything. Let's just link. Let's just link. Guys, these things are not that hard as long as you understand. Check accumulation. Accumulation. Accumulation phase here. Here it is. 
Everyone hang it. I'm not doing magic. And then here it's our manipulation. Our manipulation phase. You see? Manipulation. And from there, what happened? Distribution. Guys, if you understand how to identify these things, it, it can become easy for you to really. And then what's this? Distribution. Distribution. Do you see what happened? This is the opposite way. Accumulation consolidates, generates liquidity, then it breaks down, it clears people, then what happens? Now, you're, the moment it's, it's, it's moving down, you look for buying opportunities. So if you can check here, the reversal, so we had something like this. So if you can check, we had an order block there. Here's an order block. Here's an order block that we had there. <clears throat> that's that's that was the a core 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 entry in order block. So sometimes, guys, as I, I was telling you, the market can come and do the the the, the triple bottom or double bottom. You see, it comes, it goes, maybe something like that, or it can come and do something like that that it goes up, or sometimes it can come and give you. Some multiple retests there. Then it comes back, do something like this, then it's it starts moving up. Do you understand? So that's what how or that's how we manage to see the reversals. So I think everything was clear here. I want, I want, I want, I want try to try to, to, to confuse a lot of you. Then if we can check, let's check more. But then let's check one. Okay, here. <coughs> It didn't break any, so this was just a straight up. Yeah. It didn't break the Asian session. It just managed to trade off from there, the Asian range. So mostly, guys, when we talk about the decisions, it's where we can be able to get the breakout from the session, from the Asian range, on open London or before it closes the Asian session. If you check here, the breakout happened this time. What time was it? What time was this? Check it happened on nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, it, it's, it's, it's London open. You see? So mostly on London open, it's where you're looking to get an entry. So the moment it consolidates, the moment the market consolidates, you are just relaxing. You see what happens, but then the breakout or the manipulation phase might start ending on London Open or, or during London session. So if you can change this one, it started giving you that retest from nine o'clock. So nine o'clock you were buying that. So mostly the London session is the one that it gives you the entry. If you check here, uh, okay, that that retest was uh, it, it was around half past seven. So from there, <clears throat> you were you were gonna be looking to sell any time before the London Open. So guys, that's how it is mostly on how to trade to trade that and uh, the three stages: pip cycle, a price cycle. Even if you can check, we're having JPBUSD. That chart we were using, it was for a uh, Euro USD. So let's check if we can be able to use this one on GPBUSD. So it works on every pair. It's just a matter of understanding how the price moves. Here it consolidates a gen session and then it broke above, you see? And then from there, it was a nice selling. The one, another one, it's here. It's just that they won't be accurate 100%, but you can be able to see with no, if the price breaks up. So even here, the price has consolidated, then it broke down, and then high rejection is another thing to show you a reversal. 
And from there, it's a nice cell. Then another one is here, if you can be able to see. A perfect one. <sighs> here, you see the price. Yeah, here what it is what I was talking about. You see here we had, let me show you the reversals that you can get sometimes. Here it is, sort of your double bottoms, but we call these levels of bank's liquidity. So this is the bank's liquidity level. You see what I was talking about? I was talking about something like this. That the reversals that you get sometimes, it's not like, sometimes you, you, you might have multiple retests on a certain level, and then that's nice confirmation of a, a buy signal or a reversal. So you see guys, simple, it's, 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 it's very, I think it's very simple. If you can check the accumulation, the price accumulated, then it broke down manipulation, kicking many people, small traders, then it ran up and then it came back again, give you a second test from there. This was your buy. So you buy there, stop loss, three pips away, maybe somewhere there, and then you, you want the daily movement. So that's why we're saying this is a daily price cycle because you get the daily movement of the, the, the particular pair. So if you buy, you buy the whole day. If you sell, you sell the whole day. You see, and then you buy here, and then the price closes where there. So if you, even if you can be able to check the pips that you've took there, then check where nice daily pips. You can see those are the points that you get one eight one nine in the middle. So that's the secret. You see, even the risk is very less. You buy somewhere there, and then you, even if you are using a small account, you can you you can you, you can you can place a nice trade with a high lot side. Then from there. Today, it was something <coughs> that you, you should have ate at a day. Guys, this thing is very simple. It's very, it's very easy. This SMC, guys, you see there's something like that. Then the moment it breaks up, it just injecting liquidity as our manipulation. Then from there, you get your daily movement. Even here, so high rejection guys always know that it's it's, it's just a signal of a, a reversal because the moment that rejection is created many 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 others were, were, were fighting there so the moment it pushes up just know that okay if it breaks up i look to sell if it breaks below my agent range i look to buy then from there you see you sell you sell somewhere inside then check the daily movement is set. So guys, I can't keep, I can't keep, I can't keep uh, 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 identifying this. You can do this all day. But then now I think everyone managed to see how clear this it is. Then you see, complete, then it breaks down. And then you look for, this was a nice price reversal signal. Then you buy. Then it was something that you ate. You see, here it is what I'm talking about. So the reversals, guys, they are in the form of a zone or 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 or, 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 or a block or something like this, like liquidity level. So if it's such moves, you can get them. Such moves. Check this one was a, a, a very simple one. So guys, please make sure that you understand how the, this price move. You see, so this one managed to manage to to come and and give a nice. Didn't even break below there, but then you can check, guys, by your own eyes. You can check how how nicely is this one. <clears throat> so half past three, I'm sure here there was an event, or it was half past three. Asian something say she in New York something say she ah even it was half past three. You see, half past three exit. So it was something nicely to, to eat that one. So before you can see that NAS, or even if it's NASDAQ, you can see that it will buy. How do you see it? You see it by the, the movement. You see the, mom, the movement here, we had small, uh, 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 the momentum of sellers was less. So it shows, or this was a nice signal to show that NASDAQ or that particular pair that you've chosen will buy half past three. So this is how we see it. The, the movement of the market participants. So you see, we buy somewhere there, 
then you go eat it up there. So there is something that we call BOS. So you can also use it as your entry level, BOS. So you, that's something I will share the video so that you can be able to see. So this was a BOS. So you can be able to, 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 to get some entries or on how to add more treats using BOS. This was a BOS. This was a BOS. So you can eat, you should have got this, this treat there before it starts, it started moving so hard. Uh, so you know more about POS, I'll share a video that you, you should watch. So this was, it. so let me highlight. This was a BOS, even this one was a BOS. So you should have been able to get, if you missed a buy here, you should have been able to get the buy here, somewhere here or somewhere here. Then from there, you go up with it. So guys, this is SMC. So stay tuned for more for, for more lessons. So if you're having a question, you can type there. We are having two minutes left for you to ask question. We only left with two minutes. So you can ask any question if you are lost. If you are lost somewhere about just type the question that we are having before this session end. But I think it was very simple. I think it was very simple and straightforward. I don't think someone might be left behind here. AMD, accumulation, manipulation, distribution. So I'll do more sessions. You'll see how the banks trade. I'll be able to show you something. But then if you're having a question, you can ask. But if you're not having a question, then I'll just end the session. So for all of you guys who attended, just hit me. Just, 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 just give me a feedback of today's session. Why am I in box at what? So it seems like. Okay, how to, to go out? You close your trades. Let, let me reshare the screen. As I told you guys, uh, this, this is a daily price movement. Daily price movement. Where do you close your trades? You close your trade by the time it closes or somewhere from after nine o'clock. After nine o'clock, you can be able to close your trades. Anywhere after nine o'clock. So our nine o'clock started here. By the time the, 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 the Asian session starts, you close your trade. So when to exit, you close your trade by the, uh, by nine o'clock where the market starts consolidating or where the Asian session starts. Because you know that, okay, my daily trade or my daily movement is to buy from here till the, the, the where the price closes. The price closes here, so you can close before you, you can close somewhere here or you can close anywhere here, but then automatically if you want to, not to limit yourself, you can close nine o'clock. So here, guys, once you place your trades, you are in your in. You buy here. Let me show you, for example. You buy here. And then where to exit? If you're adding more trades on a, on a BOS. So if you buy here, you buy here, you buy here. Where to exit? If you buy here, or you are buying there, or somewhere there, where to exit? You exit when the market closes or nine o'clock here. So you see, this was a price, daily price movement. So this, uh, these are big pips. It's just that I'm using a laptop. If you can check, for example, here, if you sell here, guys, if you sell here, if you sell here or somewhere there or somewhere there or somewhere there, where do you close? Nine o'clock somewhere here or you close here simple like that so the session is ending guys our time is out so if you're having more questions you just you'll just yeah so amd doesn't work on 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 the rig. It only works on currencies pairs or gold or something but not on the rig because the rig doesn't have trading sessions so the session is ending guys more, more questions via my inbox good luck